I have a question about this whole James right. Mangold yeah, thing, and it's uh, it's kind of concerning. Uh, oh, because it it really just I mean concerning, even though we already see it coming a mile away, and you've already just mentioned it, but. <laughs> I mean, if we look at our track record of the past, Ryan Johnson really wants to do a Star War, and we've got him locked in until now when he decided, you know what, he's going to focus on Knives Out. Taika Waititi really wants to do a Star War. We got him locked in until now because he really wants to focus on making like his remake of Akira and Flash Gordon and doing Thor 4, so he's not going to do it anymore. So are we really going to walk the same walk and dance the same dance again? Is this going to happen yet again? Are we going to find out in like six, seven, eight months? James Mangold really wants to do a Star Wars and he's locked in. But until now, uh, he just really wants to focus on making Swamp Thing the best movie it can be. So he's going to step away from Star Wars. Like this, this is kind of troubling. Uh, I was really excited to see what James Mangold could bring to this movie, to this uh, high, uh, old, ancient, low republic. I don't even know what it's called. First Jedi movie. What really annoys me, I switched it to Star Wars now. What really annoys me is that they say the script for Dawn of the Jedi, which is James Mangold's, is almost done. It's been worked on and it's almost done. And now he's saying that he's scripting both of them and he doesn't know which one will be first. And you're right, we've gone down this road. And I said this on Rebel Scum last week on episode 281, I think it was. I said, the James Mangle, for me, the Dave Filoni Star Wars movie is happening. Because I have faith in Dave Filoni getting it done. <laughs> because as yeah. of right now, he's the only one that has gotten a Star Wars movie done. That's, that wasn't, you know what I mean? Like, he's the only one that's basically, or not movie, but he's, he's when he does something, it's coming. Like, it's happening. The, the other one with Ray, I don't know. Whatever, we'll see. But the James Mangold one, I said right away, I said, what if Indiana Jones flops? What if Indiana Jones is terrible? Because we've seen this already with Kevin, Colin Trevorrow and uh, Josh Trank and um, uh, Patty Jenkins coming off Wonder Woman 2. We've seen this. It's repeat. This is a, this has repeated itself over and over again. I and I said this weeks ago when they when the first rumor came out that they're going to announce three movies. Don't do it. Don't announce the three movies. Just announce one if you even are close to it. But don't announce three because now, like if the, if it does, if the mangled one doesn't happen, it's a joke. And if the Ray one doesn't happen, it's a, they already lost the writer on the Ray one. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, they got Stephen Knight in. That's fine, but. What if he clashes with the director and the script and they can't figure it out? Like, you, they're jumping the gun on this. I think it's a joke. I, I, but uh, the Mangle thing, I mean, he's at least he's in the Star Wars. He's in the Lucasfilm family with Indiana Jones. Like, at least he's in there. So at least Kathleen Kennedy could go down the hall and be like, what does this movie look like? Okay. Like, at least she has firsthand experience of what it looks like. And it's not later on where it's like, oh, man, you made a pile of Jurassic Park poop over there. Yeah. Like she, like she has that at least going forward with Mangled. So I have, I have minimum faith that the Mangled one will happen. But you're right. If he's writing them side by side, which is what it sounds like, what if Swamp Thing takes off? And he's like, I am so happy with the Swamp Thing. We got to get this. The only other thing to this, Andrew, before I let you talk, is the, the only caveat to it all is this. Swamp Thing, 2028. James Mangold Star Wars movie 2026, 2030. That's the or or 2030. That's the only way I can see that really work out is if they have solid dates. You're making this movie for this time and this movie for this time. But until then, I, 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 he's gonna I think he's gonna depart one of these projects. I really do. And I don't know which one I hope he departs, to be honest. And maybe he sticks on both of them, which would be great, but I I don't know. Like they're both very like clouded and they there's no set like it's coming out this day it's coming out this day and to look to dc and star wars credit they, well they shouldn't have announced these anyway because their track records for both those companies are pitiful uh but that's all i have to say about that is thanks for ruining my night andrew i'm so sorry but i and i'm not 
in the same headspace I was, you know, three years ago when we found out about Rogue Squadron, even though these three movies, all of them sound 10 times more exciting to me than Rogue Squadron oh, did. Billion not, times. Yeah. For, like they are so much more interesting. I'm not letting myself get as excited as I got with Rogue Squadron, even though I'm really <laughs> like, I want to be because these sound so cool uh, because of just the track record. And because, you know, we're not, uh, there's no trailer yet. So until that happens, it's nebulous. It's just a Fugazi and we can't um, attach any hope or meaning to it, even though rebellions were built on hope. So I really want this James Mangold movie to happen, this first Jedi to happen. And I really want Swamp Thing to happen. It would be nice to have both. Can we just live in a world where both of them happen? Let's just make that a thing. Let's live in a world where they both exist and they're both great movies. How about that? I think it's totally, it's totally a possibility. I just don't know. I, I just I just don't know how the inner workings are and if it's possible. Like how, like the Ray movie is supposed to be the first movie. The the Filoni one they said is still like six to eight years away. I'm like, fine, that's fine. Let the show's freaking continue. But why are you telling me about this movie now? Like, <laughs> why are you telling me? That's a long, I, long I, time. I, my theory on why they announced that one is because the ratings of these shows have been declining steadily for like since I think it was like Boba Fett, Obi Wan, and or Mando. Like they're all declining, and it's like, well, let's kick them in the butts and show them that they should be excited. I feel like that's what it is more than I think it's, it's, I don't know. I, the whole thing is just annoying to me. I hope we get the movies. The Dawn of the Jedi sounds cool. Swamp thing sounds cool. Uh, but what? anyway, I, I don't, I don't know if we're going to get either one of them. Uh, and I'm like you, I'm not excited about any of them. Well, Swamp Thing more because it looks cool. But I'm not excited about Star Wars until I see it anymore because I've been burned so many times. And I, I honestly, like, as everyone was jumping up and down, I'm like, okay, they're, they're exciting announcements. I like the, the, the heat of the moment. And then once that faded, I was like, oh, okay. It's probably, like, all for naught. You know, like, we're not getting these movies. We never will. Fine. I'm fine. I'm just going to stick to Mando and Andor. And that, and and whatever, and we'll have to live on from from that because, yeah, it, it, history repeats itself. 